What's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel. Yes, it's been one hell of a long time since I've been on a bike or posted any content to YouTube and this video doesn't mean that I'm back but I was feeling terrible withdrawal from not having been on a bike in so long that I reached out to my Patreon Peter and he lent me his Ducati again. So I came out for a ride to Royals and I decided when I got here that I was inspired enough to make this video. So what's been going on? The last time you guys saw I posted a video, I had cuck with the big boy. The piston tore itself apart on the highway and I was like, yeah, I'm going to fix it because, you know, this bike is really cool. Well, basically what happened was I ordered all the parts from a supplier out in Alberton and they brought everything through to me. It was delivered promptly. I got everything. It was lacquer sorted. I started putting the motor together. It was quite a bit of work. There was a lot of struggle in and amongst that process of its own but basically I ended up putting the motor back together with the new piston and the new valves that they sent me but those valves turned out to be wrong so the valve stem themselves was actually too low for where the keepers go in and so the springs were under too much tension and so when I rode the bike it sounded really noisy and it, well it just died on me and it turned out that then the push rods had bent. So I thought maybe I messed up the timing in the process. So I got new push rods, put the whole thing back together and it was still very noisy. So I called up a Mickey, the same guy that um, supplied the push rods to me. And I said to him, dude, listen here, I've put everything together. I think I've botched up the timing. Can you get a Mickey to have a look at it and tell me where I've fucked up? because you know I'm not a mechanic so there's a good chance that I botched something up. Needless to say he pushed me around for two to three weeks just back and forwards in and out of the shop and my bike was never running quite the way I needed it to do. Eventually we did get the bike running and I know I mentioned in one of my previous videos that I wanted to put a smaller sprocket on the back wheel so that the engine RPM would be lower. Well let me tell you something that actually worked. Basically once I got the bike back together I decided rather than throwing money at the big boy every two to three weeks just to keep it on the road let me sell it, cut my losses, get stuck in a cage for eight weeks or whatever the case may be and work on fixing the bandit. I then reached out or my wife then reached out to a guy that helped previously with the, the, the bandit's gearbox and he works now at Buddy's Motorcycles. I've taken the motor through to Buddy's Motorcycles and the guy that's been working on it, Dave, he's been really awesome. He's been in contact with me all the time. There's been back and forward. I've been trusting that he's getting the shit across the line and he calls me up last week and he says, bro, your motor's ready. So I think to myself a little bit, you know what, this guy's been really good to me. He's done a really good job so far. He's kept me in the loop. I haven't been worried about anything with the motor. Like I know it's in good hands. He's worked on the motor and the bike before. Dude, do you want the work to put the motor into the bike rather than me having to do it? You know, I've got a lot going on at the moment. I'm really busy. I don't really have the time. Can I just give it to you? And so on Thursday, Cape Motorcycle Assist, I think it is, or Cape Motor Assist, he came and picked up my bike and took it through to buddies so that they could put the motor into the bike. So we're on the last stints of getting the bandit back on the road and I'm really, really looking forward to it. But today it was a beautiful day out in the afternoon and I called up Peter. The itch got me, man. I, I needed to scratch the itch again. So thanks very much, Peter, for letting me borrow your, your Ducati Monster 690 for me to get some headspace again. Guys, that's what's going on. I, I know this is more just a catch-up video than anything else. It's horribly shaky. The audio is probably garbage. There's probably a lot of wind noise. I'm sorry. You guys know I'm the world's worst YouTuber. Thank you guys for sticking by for this period of weeks that I've been quiet and still tuning in and watching some of the old videos and commenting and whatever. Please do me a favor. Comment on this video. Give me some motivation. I'd appreciate it. Please give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already so you can see the bandit when it's back on the road. Remember guys, life is going to throw a ton at you. But whatever happens, don't look down. Look ahead. And until next time, ride safe.